Alrighty, so I just got a message yesterday evening from two lovely individuals in the community, Liam and Harriet. Uh, first time growing garlic and their bed gave out last night. So the bottom of it just kind of collapsed in. So I'm gonna head down there, see if uh, we can take a bit of a look and see if it's possible to rescue them. The challenge though is that, I'm not sure if you can able to see out there, but the snow is just starting to come down. So we're up against the clock. All right, we're gonna need some tools. Screwdriver, yep. Skill saw, yep. Some screws, reciprocating saw or jigsaw. I'm going reciprocating saw. All righty, let's head down there. Hey, Liam, how you doing? I'm all right, how are you? Good, good, how are the babies doing? Uh, they need a little bit of help. <laughs> all right, let's head up there. All righty. Oh no! Alrighty, so as we can see, the bottom has just completely fallen out of the beds here, unfortunately. They were doing so good too! And so I do think that it is salvageable and that we can save you, rescue them. Uh, what we're going to do is actually get some new wood for the bottom because it was starting to get a little bit warpy. And then we'll put a brace underneath that and then start to kind of reassemble it here. So uh, we're gonna have to get to it here because it's uh, starting to rain a little bit. Alrighty, so the first thing that we're doing here is building that brace that's going to go on the bottom that the new piece of wood is going to sit on so that it's supported at multiple points opposed to just on the outside perimeter. And so all that we need to do is measure out the wood, then we're going to cut it to the right sizes. Alrighty, so the wood is cut and now Liam is assembling a frame that's going to sit underneath that wood so that there's support all across it. Alrighty, frame's built, so Liam is now going to start flipping it over and then we're going to secure that piece of wood to the frame here. See, I just actually on these garden projects hang out and have whoever it is I'm working with do all the work here. Alrighty, we're starting to run low on light here, but the new frame is set up just over there. And what we're going to do is actually disassemble the outside of this frame and slap that onto the new frame that we just put together. All right, so we've popped the old frame off. Liam's just getting the last couple of screws out there, and now we're going to attach it to the new frame that we've built. The lighting out here right now is so wild. It's like, it's like there's meant to be a sunset because it's kind of like red in the sky, but it's raining out. It's trippy, trippy, but we're getting there. Stoke is high. Alrighty, Liam's been hard at it. Looking pretty good though. There we have it. Alrighty, so the bed is assembled or reassembled there. Last thing that we're going to do, it's the big moment, and that is we're going to move it over to where the old bed was, and then we're gonna to try to gently, as gently as possible, scoop up those garlic babies, trying to disturb that soil as little as possible, and put them into the new bed here, and let them kind of just rest and recover a little bit. So here we go. <laughs> Can't believe the root system on this. Just got into the car, starting to warm up. It's a little bit chilly out there with it kind of raining and snowing, but super fun little project and day. And now we really kind of wait. And I think there's definitely some hope with those garlic babies. I tell you, I have never seen roots as developed as those were this early on in the season. So I'm like super, super, super hopeful that um, they kind of make it through this little transplant that we just put them through. So fingers are crossed. And in terms of where things go from here, you know, it's tough to say, but my fingers are crossed and I really, really hope that the next portion of this video says something like seven months from now and it's me coming back down for us to be actually harvesting those garlic babies and enjoying a little bit of time on the patio there. So fingers crossed that that's the next section here. Alrighty folks, so tonight could be the evening that we've been waiting for. So we're now about five months later from when the last video ended. I'm not sure why I said seven months, probably just too much time in the rain outside there and the snow during that stretch with Liam. But Liam and Harriet, they have been giving me some updates. The garlic has been growing. They got garlic scapes and they've now got four dead leaves on their garlic plants. 
So I'm like cautiously optimistic here that we could be in for a nice little harvest this evening. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna hop in the car, head down the hill here, and we're gonna get to harvesting. Hey, um, How's it going? Good. Ready to harvest? Absolutely. Let's do it. Alrighty. Moment of truth. We got garlic, babies. Alrighty. The moment has come to harvest. How uh, how you guys doing? How you feeling about it? I'm feeling pretty good, I think. Optimistic, I would say. Nervous? Uh, also a little bit nervous, yeah. <laughs> Harry is nervous for sure. I'm very nervous. <laughs> just uh, just before we harvest them here, I think this is your first time growing garlic, but how have you enjoyed it? How's it been? Uh, I mean, it was a little traumatic when the <laughs> garden bed broke, to be yeah. completely honest. So that threw us for a bit of, uh, bit of a loop, but we got it uh, back uh, up and running, back in business, and yeah, I'm optimistic. I'm feeling good about it. Love it. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> yeah, I feel like, yeah, it's been so many months and it's been so many different steps and progressions and seasons and yeah, we really are kind of nervous. <laughs> totally. Alrighty, well let's get to it here. Who's up first? Rock, paper, scissors? Yep. Me? No, I won. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. There we go! <laughs> you! <laughs> you! It's there purple. we have it. I literally have never done this in my life. I hadn't either. Oh, it's not coming easy, that one! You got a live one! Oh my god! <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh, so pull the. Whoa. Yeah, 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 yeah! yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! Give that a shake! Look at that! That was like fishing. Was... <laughs> wow, that's a that's, that's a hefty good garlic. head of garlic. <laughs> Nothing will beat my honker. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she might have spoke too soon. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, I think you still got it. I think your honker still wins. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, so we were just about to wrap up and then Harriet asked the question, can we plant anything else in there for the rest of the season? But they're also gone for all of August and because all I do is garden, I actually had a bunch of seed potatoes in my car ready to go. And so we're gonna plant a couple of succession potatoes here before we wrap up. Alrighty, so now we are wrapping up and all finished. We got the potatoes in there, garlic is harvested, and just so cool, such a fun journey, seeing them for the first time up here in February, laying on the ground, on the brink of, you know, kind of whether or not they're going to survive and make it, to then harvesting them, and a couple of honkers this evening in their first season of growing garlic, so super, super fun. If you want to check out any of our other garlic growing videos for tips and how to grow it, check the description of this video here. I'm going to leave a whole bunch of links down there, and if you want to grab one of our garlic kits, which tons of folks have been using this past season, then the link to pick that up is down in the description as well. But folks, that's everything for today here. Hope that you've enjoyed this. Go get those hands dirty and I'll see you soon.